Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. So we're going to do one more speedrun episode tonight. Uh, I'm just kind of in the mood to play a little chess here and thought that we would go ahead and uh, play one more of these. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's jump in here. Let's do a 15-10. I, I felt like I was kind of rushed in my last game. I was worried about the time a lot. So let's do a 15-10 and, and see what we can do here. I want... Uh, I want these to be instructive and uh, have plenty of time to talk through the thoughts and, and, and so on. So I want to have plenty of time to do that. So E4 is what we're going to play here. E4, E5. All right. And then we're just going to look. This is the deal. You play E4. He plays E5. And you get uh, a weakness here. So this is this is the deal, okay? You take this. This is a gambit, all right? So he's hitting the, the pawn, the, this pawn threatening mate, and he's hitting the knight, okay? This is the move. You have to play this. Now, if I played here, this hits the rook. This is actually, if I take here and here and he played that, Yeah, let's play. Let's play here. We'll play this threatening that pawn. So if I take here and he does this, he is threatening then to win material, right? So let's go ahead and take this. Now he's got this move. But the problem with that is this move defends the queen. So, I'm going to castle, actually. If I took this and he recaptures, I have this. But let's play simple chess. Simple chess. I don't want to take that and open up the uh, the G file here if I don't have to. So he's added an attacker here. But again, I could just play this and defend my queen. I don't have to go crazy. I could play this, and I think that this is a fine move. But I think that this is just more principled to bringing the piece back and defending uh, defending the queen. So let's go ahead and do that. We're up a piece. There's no need to get fancy here. Uh, I mean, let's let's take that. Um, okay, so this is a, a problem. So let's go ahead and do this, because it's not defended. So this is forced, and I think that's mate. They could play here. So let's go ahead and take that. That's forced. Then you've got that check. Actually, if he plays here, I think you got that. We'll go ahead and throw that in. And 
friend is that checkmate. Bishop, queen, 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 queen. So, there was just a, in this one, you know, you had a, uh, he didn't recapture the queen. And, and that was really where the wheels kind of come off the bus. But see here, you drop the pawn. And it's a gambit. And that's the idea. If they play a gambit, you know, you don't have to take it, but I, I do want to. And, you know, this is the right move. He comes back, and it's me adding pressure to him. So he takes here, and the wheels just come off. When he plays here, I go ahead and cast it. And, look, I'm up material, and this is, this is kind of a, a key point here. I'm up material. I want material off the board, A. And B, I want to make my king safe. His king, if he moves either of these pieces, well, I guess actually if he moves the queen, he, I can't take it. But if this guy moves, this is back on because I would trade both of these guys for that pawn, right? Uh, that pawn and that, and that queen. I can't do it with the knight, but... As long as the queen is, is the defender, I could trade both of these pieces for that queen, and that's fine. So, I castle, get the king out of the center of the board, and now I'm safe. So, now you're down a bishop. I don't see the material count, but I'm, I'm, or I'm sorry, I'm up a bishop for a pawn. Or actually, I'm just up a bishop, because he gambled the pawn and then sacked for a pawn. So, I'm just up a full bishop here. So, when he comes down... I just play back. There's no reason to make this game more complicated than it needs to be. The I, I said this in an earlier video. I seen a guy the other day. He said, I have the opportunity to trade queens. I don't want to trade queens. And then he, he blundered the queen and got mated. So for me, just come back, defend everything. There's no checkmate here because the knight defends. You could take that, but that just centralizes my knight. And I'm not trying to make this any fancier than it needs to be. He plays that, and I get the queen off the board because when he recaptures, I pick this up and I renew this thread again. So, get the queen off, and then that's, you know, game over. I took the rook, take that, and then that's that's the ball game. So, again, you know, I, I don't think that there's going to be, in these earlier videos, a whole lot of meat on the bone, as Daniel Naroditsky likes to say. But, um, you know, there... I do think that these lower ELO games are instructive, right? Because not everybody is 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 over a thousand, right? Not everybody is fourteen hundred or thirty, you know, whatever. So seeing these these ideas and and how to punish this stuff and the right way to try to convert, I think is instructive. So let's just look again. He plays a gambit. I take it. And this is the key point. You have to defend this, but it also comes with an attack on the bishop, right? So you can't, he doesn't see the square anymore because the pawn blocks the bishop's view. You can't take, or I would just, you lose the queen. You can't take that, or I would take here. So this is key. Any other move loses. You have to play this. He comes back, and now I'm attacking you, right? I'm up a bishop. Well, not yet, but I'm putting pressure on you. He takes, takes, and now just gets safe. And once we're safe, now I'm going to go ahead and start trying to open up or try to open it up for trades. You know, and unfortunately, my opponent didn't take back, and, the, you know, the wheels come off here, and he gets mated in the center of the board. But that's, you know, look, don't bring your queen out early. That's kind of, uh, you know, one of the things you should take away here. This is what could happen. So, anyway... Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Let me know what you all think about the series. Uh, I, you know, I plan on doing these uh, fairly often, you know, hopefully every day. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. See you guys in the next video.